Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here with a project for the latest lawnscaping challenge. The challenge for the beginning of the month of December is for it to be tag it, so you create a tag using Lawn Fawn products. And so today I'm going to create a birthday tag. I know there will be a lot of Christmas and holiday tags as inspiration during this challenge, so I thought I would try something a little bit different. And this is actually going to be a birthday tag for my mom. You'll see that that gets personalized later. I am starting off with some gloss cardstock and Ken Oliver color bursts. I know that the color bursts are very traditionally used with um, watercolor paper and other watercolor type mediums because you want a paper that can take a lot of water. And gloss paper, not all gloss papers can handle water but I am using some really high quality gloss paper from Seaside Stamping Ink. It's a clay coated gloss paper and it really captures fine detail. So I thought that it would actually be great with the color burst because one of the cool things about the color burst is it is not just one solid color, but instead is um, little pigments of different colored powders coming together. And so if I got a paper that captures that fine detail, you'd be able to see all those variations in the color. You'd see the little bits of pink and blue that come together to create the purple and capture that detail. So this gloss paper is also great just for regular stamping because again it captures all those little tiny fine lines that are in some stamps. To do this technique I'm just going to make sure that my paper is always a little bit damp so the color just starts moving and then I'm going to spritz it. I'm going to start with less water and add more as I see how it moves around because if you spray a lot of water it will create big pools of color but what I want is to capture some of those fine details of color. In the end what I'm going to do is stamp my butterflies on top of this and so I'm not looking to create a cohesive background but instead just a really interesting textured paper. There are some areas where a lot of the color is pooling and creating these really dark spots I don't want that in my final project and so I'm just coming in with a napkin and pulling out some of that color. But I'm also using that same wet napkin with color on it to just sort of dab at the cardstock to create more little bits of color where there's like these really really fine um, details, little like you know um, one grain of powder or spots of color. It kind of is like creating uh, flicks or splatters that you might do with some other watercolor techniques. But the gloss cardstock is really helping to keep the vibrancy of the color burst, which is one of the awesome things about color bursts, how bright and vibrant they are. So I'm going to let that dry, speed it along a little bit with the heat gun, but I'll come back to it so for some stamping later, and I'm going to create my base tag. It might have made sense to just cut a pink tag, but I thought that it would be fun to make my own and just add a, more of a variation in color, and so I'm using my Distress inks. I'm starting with the Picked Raspberry, then I'm going to move into the Worn Lipstick, and finally to the sponge sugar. The pink colors in the Distress line are a little bit limited. Um, we, I was kind of hoping there might be another pink as the December color, but instead it is the quite beautiful candied apple. Um, but it would be nice to see some more pinks maybe in the future. The worn lipstick is quite a bit more orange than the picked raspberry, so it does take some work to blend them together. And I had to speed this up quite a bit to um, condense the blending down. But essentially I'm going back in with the picked raspberry and sweeping it over the worn lipstick. And then finally in with the sponge sugar. Again, there's a big gap though between worn lipstick and sponge sugar. And so you really have to work things and that's, you know, um, also here causing my camera to shake a little bit. So sorry about that. However, once I have that all dry, it doesn't have to look perfect because I'm going to be covering up a lot of this with the butterfly. I'm using my archival ink to stamp the Make-A-Wish sentiment. This is from the Party Animal stamp set. However, you could just use whatever birthday sentiment you have. I just found that that one fit nicely across the card, and I like the way the script looks with the butterflies. I stamped the butterflies from Flutter By 
In the same archival ink, which works perfectly on that gloss cardstock, it does take slightly longer to dry, and then I fussy cut all of them out, and I'm ready to attach them to my tag. However, I wanted to think about the placement before I glued everything down, so I'm actually stamping the pattern that I want on the tag before I place them down. Also, because I'm only going to add adhesive on the center of the butterflies, you're going to be able to see underneath them. And so I thought it might be nice if that butterfly detail was there. And I want the antenna to be there. Because when I fussy cut out the butterflies, I cut them right to the black line. And so therefore, I cut the antennas right off. And so to add that back in, I simply stamp them down onto the cardstock and layer this gloss paper over it. To get that dimension, I just put a little strip of adhesive in the very center. I used a pretty strong adhesive so that it will hold down. And then I sort of bend up the butterfly wings so it gives them that feeling of fluttering and texture and dimension. And you will definitely want to make sure that all the layers are dry on this gloss cardstock. One of the uh, more challenging parts of gloss cardstock is everything does take just a little bit longer to dry, but any dye ink will dry on the gloss cardstock. So you could use the archival, but something like um, the Hero Art Shadow inks will dry as well. Finally, for one last detail, this card is going to go to my mom, and so I personalized it with Violet's ABCs, and I just stamped out mom there in the bottom and also helped fill that space a little bit. My mom likes pink and sparkles, which some of you may know because I do talk about some of my recipients sometimes, and I always think about that when I make cards for my mom. And so I want to add in that sparkle for her, and so I take these sequins from My Style Stamps, I really love their sequins. I used to be part of their design team, and so I have quite a few of them, but the, I like how sparkly they are. Not all sequins are as iridescent and shimmery as theirs. And they're also a great value. Last time I was shopping for them, I think it was a dollar for a whole pack, and a lot of sequins are more expensive than that, but these are a great bargain. And so I'm just going to town and adding them all over like crazy because I just know that my mom will love all the sparkle there. And that's gonna be it for my tag today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, including the use of lawn fawn stamps and distress inks, please subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out the Lawnscaping Challenge so that you can join in with us. Thanks for watching. Bye.